What is going on everyone, and welcome back to another video. Although, if this is your first time checking out the channel, I invite you to hit that subscribe button just below the video. In this video, I'm going to discuss the difference between the Athena runs and the Athena missions, and work out together what one is best for your time. But before we get into the video, I just want to state that this video is my personal opinion, and if you have another opinion, please post it down in the comments below. So first of all, let's just talk about the difference between the Athena runs and the Athena missions. So Athena runs are a new type of Athena mission that take place between a series of three to four islands. They contain a series of different items such as relics, gunpowder barrels, and crates, all of course giving you Athena XP. And these missions are purchased with doubloons instead of coins. Now we move on to the Athena missions. These are pretty self-explanatory if you have played the game for a while, but essentially Athena missions are two-part voyages that take you to a sequence of random islands. Inside of these voyages, you will have missions from all of the factions that you need to complete. And upon the second part of your voyage, or in other words, the second chapter, you'll be given the task to find an Athena's chest that can be turned into the mysterious stranger. So now we have a basic idea of the difference between Athena runs and Athena missions. So let's compare the two. So starting off with Athena runs, let's talk about the pros. First of all, they're way quicker than the Athena missions, no matter what way you try and complete them. And they're nine times out of 10 going to take place on only two islands. I did mention there are multiple islands in a rotation, but it's very likely you will only get the same two islands. With that being said though, it is possible to get all three or four islands in one mission. You can also find that some of the items you can get on these runs give you a chance to earn some doubloons as a bonus extra and partner with the bonus to balloons, you also get some bonus commendations that are involved as well. Now, moving on to the cons. So the cons of the Athena runs is that they're very, very repetitive. Once you've done them once, you're going to find it hard to do another one a second time. They also do cost doubloons, which is arguably harder to obtain than coins. Although you do earn some doubloons for doing these missions, don't expect them to cover the cost of starting it up. And on top of that, since this is a very much RNG based mission, there is no confirmation that you will see in Athena's chest at all during this run. Although all things considered, sometimes an Athena's chest isn't exactly worth the hassle. Moving on now to the missions. So first of all, let's talk about the pros for the Athena missions. The big pro is that you get a confirmed Athena's chest at the end of this quest. Also, you'll get reputation and money gain for all factions, assuming you're playing with someone who isn't already Pirate Legend. And finally, it is very much a randomized set of maps, so you'll never be doing the same sequence twice in the same session. Although the cons involved is that they are way longer, there's a lot more islands you need to go through, and there's less commendations you can earn through completing these voyages. So in summary, you will find that the Athena runs give you less XP, but they are faster and easier, while the Athena missions give you more XP, but they do come at the cost of being harder and longer. Although if you are solely traveling for just Athena's XP, it can be very likely that you will find yourself getting more XP from the Athena runs as opposed to the Athena missions, but for that to be the case, you better pray to those RNG gods that you do get what you're after. But no no matter what, whatever item you get from the Athena runs will lead to some sort of commendation or cosmetic. So, what do I prefer? When I'm playing with someone who needs a grind to max level in the Athena's rank, I'll always go for an Athena mission as they do confirm a chest. A little bonus extra if you do do the Devil's Raw Athena's mission, you will find yourself gaining more rewards. But either way, that's just my personal preference. So if you have a different opinion or you agree with me, post it down in the comment section below because I'd love to read it. All right, hopefully you enjoyed this video or learned something new. If you'd like to support my channel and the work that I create, feel free to subscribe and hit that notification bell just below this video. Alternatively, feel free to leave a like and leave a comment to show your support. I try my best to read every single comment. If you head down to the description of this video, you're going to find a few links that may interest you. First of all, I have a Discord link. If you'd like to join my community, feel free to click on that and make yourself at home. I also have my Twitch, Twitter and Instagram linked down below if you'd like to support me there. And finally, there is also a Patreon link if you are interested. So anyway, hopefully you have enjoyed this video and I cannot wait to see you in the next one.